Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 28th day, the month of August 2023. I am Grace Dorcas in Yekachi. First, the major headlines. Lots of gifts as back to school carnival holds in Umahia. Two children swept away in an umbrella's flooding. Heavy downpour causes collapse of 50 year old bridge in Plateau State. We'll take commercials, we'll be right back with details and then most connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. Lots of Abia children are currently in jubilant mood following the successful conclusion of the 2023 Back to School Carnival where a number of gift items to support the education were shared. Organized by Mrs. Ngozi Obona, popularly known as Adai Leas or Duko Namba, the carnival took place at Miss Farm Fair in Umeugu, Afuguri, Mahiabia State, where the children of Afuguri community benefited from the largest doled out. Items distributed include school bags, school shoes, Pencils, books, rulers, mathematical set, pen, lunch boxes, water can, erasers, sharpeners, scholarships, and cash gifts. Professor ACB Abazure, an international human rights and constitutional lawyer, and the former chief of staff to the immediate past governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezi Bazu, has urged parents to bring up their children in the way of God. Professor Agbazuri gave the charge on Friday when he paid a congratulatory visit to Mr. and Mrs. Ifanyo Kali at their Omaya residence, who recently welcomed their first child, Ola Precious Chizami Biro Kali, after 11 years of marriage. Former member of the House of Representatives and board member representing the Southeast on the governing board of the Northeast Development Commission, Honorable Sam Onibo, has commended the Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, on efforts towards the realization of federal secretariat in the state. He also praised the governor for placing the development of the state above party politics. The former federal lawmaker made this commendation in Umayo on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, following the award of the contract for the construction of federal secretariat in Umayo. Two children have reportedly been killed in flood incidents that occurred at different locations at Nkwele Oka in the Oka South local government of Anambra State on Friday. The deceased, who were between the ages of four and seven, were said to have lost their lives while carrying out activities around the flood plains. The crisis between Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State and his deputy Philip Shaibo took a new twist when the Department of State Services, DSS, denied Shaibo access to the governor. Shaibo was one of the guests who attended the church service to mark the 22nd anniversary of the creation of Edo State. A 50-year-old bridge linking Shandam Local Government Council of Plata State with other localities in the state has collapsed. The bridge gave way following heavy downpour on Sunday afternoon. A resident of local council, Ali Ubaga, who confirmed development to newsmen, said although no life was lost, the collapse of the bridge would inflict more hardship on the people of the local government council as it's a gateway between the local government and other areas in the state. Mr. Osita Okechiku, Director General of the Voice of Nigeria, believes President Bola Tinubu deserves praise for declining to join the BRICS Economic Group. At the 15 BRICS Summit in South Africa, the blog admitted Argentina, Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, among other prospective developing countries, fueling speculations that Nigeria's application was rejected for failing to meet some key membership criteria. A federal government delegation to the oil producing areas of Nigeria has discovered numerous illegal pipeline connections robbing Nigeria of millions of dollars in revenue. The team noted that a particular pipeline on Owaza in Abia State has been damaged by oil thefts, causing a revenue loss of $7.2 million per month. 
delegation that visited the Niger Delta region at the weekend was led by the Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru Abubakar. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has urged President Bola Hamid Tinibu to use his good offices and leadership position to immediately reverse the unlawful ban on 25 journalists and media houses from covering the presidential villa and restore the accreditation of those affected. Serap urged him to publicly instruct the officials in the presidential villa to allow journalists and media houses to freely do their job and discharge their constitutional duty of holding those in power to account. The group made a call in the latest signed by its deputy director, Kolawale Onuwadara, are made available to Channel Television on Sunday. Major General Bernard Oyao, who retired, a former director of the Defense Media Operations and Director of Procurement at the Defense Headquarters, have been confirmed dead. The cause of his death is still unknown as a press time, but reports say that the military general died on Saturday, August 26, after a brief undisclosed illness. On the foreign scene, France's ambassador has remained in Niger despite being given a 48-hour deadline to leave the country last Friday. French President Emmanuel Macron confirmed in a different speech. Ambassador Sylvain Ite had been ordered to go amid rapidly deteriorating bilateral ties, but hours after the coup leader's deadline had passed, the president said he applauds Mr. Ite for staying put. While in sports, Liverpool legend Robbie Fowler has warned the Reds that Mohamed Salah may leave the club this summer. The Reds who picked up a valuable Premier League win at the weekend against Newcastle United could be facing the loss of their superstar striker Fowler, who coaches in the Saudi second division admits he would not be surprised to see Salah leave for Saudi Arabia and El Itahad. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, a recap of our major stories. Lots of gifts as back to school carnival holds in Umahia. Two children swept away in a number of flooding. Heavy downpour causes collapse of 50 year old bridge in Plateau State. These are many more different platforms. Log to www.abntv.com.ng. And you can also follow us on our social media platforms being listed on the screen. I am Grace Dawkins in Have a pleasant night, rest stay safe.